Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I stretch height with Flexbox and align items to the center? This question highlights a common scenario when working with Flexbox layouts. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To achieve the desired layout with Flexbox, we need to adjust the CSS for the second row. Let's start by ensuring that the items within the row are centered vertically. Next, we want to set the height of the child elements, 2.1 and 2.2 to 50 pixels each. This will ensure they take up equal space when both are present. To make sure the content inside these divs is vertically aligned, we can use display flex along with align items center on the child divs. Now, we need to handle the case where only one of the items is present. If 2.1 is not there, we want 2.2 to take the full height of 100 pixels. Finally, let's ensure that the items stretch to fill the available horizontal space. We can achieve this by setting Flex 1 on the Item 2 div. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To stretch height and center items using Flexbox, make your row items a flex container and apply a line item center. Here's the code you need. Here's an example of how to implement this. The row class is set to display flex with a height of 100 pixels and a beige background. In this example, the row items are structured to allow for flexible layouts, ensuring that items are centered vertically. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To stretch height and align items vertically with Flexbox, you can use the Line Height property. For example, if your row has a height of 100 pixels, set the Line Height to 100 pixels as well. Check out the updated examples on JS Fiddle for practical implementation. One link shows the full setup, while the other focuses solely on the .row1 class. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped, and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.